Hello and welcome to another Micro Eller video. In this video we're going to go over on how to do some basic 4 course UI and scale form integration, get some components working, and build a functional main menu really quickly without too much effort, without delving into Unreal Script really that much. Just just do know the basic bare minimum you need in order to get a main menu working with 4 course UI and with scale form. Now before we open up Flash, we need to make sure that everything or the Unreal side of things was installed properly. Otherwise, we would do all this and it wouldn't. You load up in Unreal and nothing would happen. Let's go ahead and open up the editor. And in order to check if it's loaded, it, it's going to be really quick. You don't have to load up a map or anything. Just open up Kismet, go right click, new action, but and then on the right, you should see four cores here and my camera helper event or action. And with that, if that's there and you get this massive crazy Kismet node going on, then it's installed and that's good. If not, you need to rewatch the last video tutorial and get it up and running. Now, that being said, and if that's working, you can go into Flash now and have to open up Flash. And what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to make a basic document, learn how to resize the document, save it out, and then import what we call components. Components are basically pieces or assets that you can just swap in and swap out and that you can just use as building blocks to make whatever you want to build really quick. And yeah, it's like one of the basic components is a button. You don't want to program a button every time you want to add a button somewhere. You would just program it once and then add the button everywhere. Similar to what Four Course UI is. Uh, Four Course UI is essentially only two components so far. If you have any ideas for extra components, go ahead and email me or contact me somehow. But these components are basically just basic menu components that let you get a component up really quickly. So let's go ahead and uh, flash full it up and in the middle here you'll see create new. You want to create a new action script 2.0 document and we're presented with the stage. Stage is this white square here and that's actually where we put everything and where our user or players are going to see when it loads up in game. Now for you guys, when you first load up Flash, the UI might be a different, might, or the layout might be a di bit different of all the panels and things. If you want to match my layout that I'm using, just go ahead and go to Window, go to Workspace, and make sure check Classic. And for the first time you use Classic, it's going to look like this with the timeline on the top. Go ahead and just drag the uh, timeline down to the bottom, and then drag the Motion Builder with it, and put that in the same little block. And there you go. That's how you get my layout in Flash. I prefer this layout because it's the layout I'm used to. I've been well, I haven't used Flash in a while, especially not in the past year or so. But back in Flash 8, this is how it was, and I'm pretty used to it. So this is the layout that you'll see me working with. So if you're following along, you might want to switch that way. It's easier to find things. Now with that being said, uh, the stage here is it's that's a hundred percent. It shows you how, that's how big it is. Now I want to set this to 1024 by 768. In order to change that, you can there's a there's a lot of ways to do everything in Flash. One way to change it is going by modify and then document at the top, and I'll give you the document settings box, and then you can just type in 1024 by 768. Now if you don't want to do it that way, you can just hit Control J, brings up the same box. And if you're in the layout I'm using, you can click anywhere on the screen, and the properties box on the right will show up and you can click edit here next to the size and that will pop up with the same box many ways to do it now before we do anything I am going to change this 100 percent at the top to show all that way we can see our entire stage that way we know where things are placed and we can just see everything then I want to save this file save or control s either way then I want to save this in my UDK folder under development under flash and I'm gonna create my own folder. Well actually I've already done that here. It's called Aller, but you can call it whatever you want. And I'm gonna save this as main menu. Just go ahead and save that. There now we have our, our own flash document. It's saved. And so it's good. Alright. So now we need to I'm not gonna go over the basic uh, interface of Flash because there are many, many other video tutorials on that. But I will go over on about things that I, you need to do as I do them. So the first thing we need to do is we need to load up one of the four course files that gives you access to uh, these components, these things that let us build things really quickly. So in order to do that, we have to go to File and we have to go to Import and then Open External Library. What this does is it opens another file 
and allows us to pull assets from it without opening up a new document. Um, we'll go into libraries in a second once it's opened, but just in your UDK folder under development, under flash, under four course UI, once you, once you installed four course UI, under four course components, go ahead and open up the dynamic mini.fla and you'll get this library box. And the library is essentially a collection of all the assets that are in your document. And all the assets that are in dynamic menu are listed here. It's got a folder called component assets, a folder called dynamic menus with some more stuff in it. And then uh, these two components here, dynamic menu and dynamic menu holder. We'll go into how to use those in a bit. But uh, basically the library is just where everything is stored and that's what's going to be saved in our file when we export. Now. Uh, we need to open up the library for our current document. This is a library for dynamic menu. We need to open up the library for main menu. So let's go ahead and go to window and go to library or control L. And that gives you another pop-up that just pops out of this thing here. What I like to do is I like to grab this library tab and stick it ne right next to my properties thing. So I have these two tabs, properties and library. And if you go to our library thing, you'll notice that it's completely empty. Let me go ahead and close this motion preset thing by clicking this button here and this library is completely empty because we just created this, there's nothing in here. Now in order for us to make a menu we need to make some stuff. So what I want to go ahead and do is I want to drag over the dynamic menu holder component on this library into the library of our document. And that adds some other stuff with it that it needs but don't worry about that, We just this is important as long as that's there. And just, uh, just so we can grab everything right now, we we'll go ahead and use dynamic menu and grab that over too. That's cool. So now we have a, uh, if you open this folder, huh, we're missing all the assets we need here. So in order to grab all those assets, we should probably just grab this entire component assets folder too and drag that over. And now we have all these different assets that we need in order to, and basically we're just taking all the assets here and pulling them over, but we're not changing dynamic menu. We're just taking its assets. Now this font thing we're going to recreate later, we'll go over that later, but now we have these assets here. So the first thing in making our main menu is dragging, or with, or with 4 course UI with the dynamic menu component, is dragging this dynamic menu holder over to it. And when you drop it into the stage here, drag and drop, you're going to see it's, uh, it's me with my bad handwriting and this will be this red square called dynamic menu holder. Now this isn't actually visible in our menu. In fact, uh, it's just there as a placeholder to where all the other menus are going to line up and be pretty much. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Now, why is this not saving? File, save. There we go. Now just to make sure uh, scale form is working, let's go ahead and go to window. Let's go to other panels. Let's go to scale form launcher. Let's just click test. And then so there's not going to be anything on the screen. As you can see, that thing that's on the stage isn't on here because it's not meant to. It's invisible. It's only a placeholder. Now, what we're looking at here is a scale from launcher. Basically, it's a scale from a GFX at the bottom. And this is how our menu is going to look like in game. It's pretty cool. And this little black box is like a little console log that logs everything that went wrong or whatever. Now, for convenience sake, I'm going to take the scale from launcher panel and I'm going to drag it to the bottom of my little panel over here so that it's always there just for me to quickly test because there's a lot of wasted room down there. Might as well put something useful there. Alright, so with that being there, let's go ahead and drag a dynamic menu to our screen. Now, it's got this big text field button. Now, the thing with components is sometimes they don't always look like what they're going to be at the end, which is kind of a weird concept. but You'll get it soon enough. Now this component, I'm going to drag it off the stage because this doesn't turn in old. You are meant to see this, but it's supposed to be loaded in by this dynamic menu holder. See, uh, the way these components work is that you place these menu components outside the stage and this one will automatically control them and put them in the right spot and make it visible, make, make them animate, do all that stuff for you. Alright, sorry about that, but this video went over the 10 minute limit by 3 minutes. So you don't want to, have to continue on to the next part. It's supposed to be, there's many parts to this, so uh, see you at the next part. Thank you for watching.